Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stain Gamers, and welcome. So today, I'm going to be answering a very common question, and that is, what is the best way of starting a survival in your own world? Now, there's many ways of starting this. You could start with the really basic start sort of world, or you could do something a little bit more adventurous. But today, I'm just going to show off this particular mode that I've been messing around with. So on this asteroid we here, that looks like some sort of massive sort of creepy spider. We have a number of different extensions off the side. And what's cool about this, this can be placed over any sort of biome that you want. And you can drop these small drop pods in that are not controllable. So the player will literally fall to the earth and a parachute will deploy just above the surface. And aboard these ships is everything that they actually need to survive. We've got that beautiful glass window up at the front. We've got a few modifications on, of course because that is exactly what you need to have a really nice joint survival at the moment. You can stick with vanilla settings, but I do feel like mods really add a lot to this game itself. So we'll have a quick look inside one of these drop pods. I'll switch back to my character. We've got the two doors on both sides, and you'll notice along the top and along the sides we have the cargo containers. And each one of these cargo containers for each different ship has a variety of different supplies, enough to get the refinery and the assembler going. That is key and crucial to survival, but at the same time you're going to get a few extra bits depending on which ship you get in. Now as we enter into the cockpit here, we can actually seal up this door behind us if we want. We'll enter into our chair. We can see the parachute's ready, the cargo's ready, the reactor's ready, and the rest of the systems are loading. And what's really fun about this is as I'm sitting here, you can see the clouds are actually floating past the planet. Let's go back to F8 and we'll have a look through the cockpit itself as I'm sitting in there. Now, if you wanted to do a multiple person survival within one of these ships, I'd recommend bringing one or two more because you're gonna need a lot of different things. And more importantly, if you're planning on surviving an alien or a different world, then you're gonna have to think about oxygen and other things just like that. But what I'll do now is launch one of these drop pods. Well, first of all, I'm just gonna pull you a little bit inside. As I pull you in here, you can see that we've got the basic server start area. And the whole idea of this was it would be some sort of adventure space engineers could go on and compete with each other. So we've got a few bit, bits of information and so on. And then we've got there a little bit of a sign below. We're not responsible for any loss of limbs and so on. A little bit of fun and a respawn base. So when all the players are up here, we'll run to the ships and we'll get the survival scenario started. Hopefully just in a little bit more of a fun manner. So let's actually find the ship that we're in. There we are and we'll launch this from the actual platform there. We'll get a nice external view. And to launch this, we need to find the remote control block, hit control, and then on our hood, we should be able to release our landing gears with the correct button. So you can see we're actually dropping down to the planet now. There we go, we're gonna start picking up speed. And as we get to the lower altitude, there's two options. What we can either do is deploy the parachute, or alternatively, we can just let the timer block take over with the sensor and deploy it. You can see at the back there, that's where our parachutes are actually stored. We're actually gaining quite a lot of speed now. We're up to 90, 95, 100 meters a second. And we're dropping rapidly to the planet's surface. And since this is quite a heavy ship, we're gonna have to be careful at what time we actually deploy the chute here. So let's um, deploy that now. Okay, there we go. Let's hopefully that slowed us down enough. It looks like it has. And as it reaches ground level, we should be able to level off and exit the craft. So this is a very fast way to a survival scenario and the ship should just roll over. And you can see I'll put this empty part on the bottom here and that takes a lot of the impact of this initial landing. Another factor is, is being able to access the doors from the side and that is what I've been able to do. So if we just access and hop out of our cockpit here and we access the door behind us, we should be able to walk out of here quite easily. A little bit more of a struggle since we're in this position and we should be also be able to get back into the ship if we need to maintain it. Just an interesting start survival and I thought I wanted to share this with you. So now we've found ourselves on the planet's surface, our parachute is successfully deployed. If it's not deployed, then you're going to be in a very bad situation. But apart from that, we need to get our assembler and refinery going. So that is our first step in this survival. And hopefully it's inspired you to maybe start your survival scenario a little bit differently or even try this one that I've been messing around building with. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.